tomorrow night, a drink at the pub, a meal out with family and friends. And why it's emotional today is because people have given up. But now is the time to open up, to open up. Now is the time to congratulate every single Victorian for staying the course. Right, we're going to book indoor pubs somewhere to get a nice tour of beer. So I'm just listening to the radio and uh, we have some great news again in Melbourne. We are opening up another level. So the uh, restaurants and um, cafes and stuff will be able to open now. It'll be mainly outside dining. They're going to restructure the city and all the places where they're going to do lots of outdoor dining. So that's going to be awesome. Can't wait to have a... Um, uh, meal and even better news I'm at Taylor's Hill skate park in the morning and I'm the only one here so I've got the whole skate park to myself I'm gonna warm up on this big lake here I love it I've already whacked it up so we'll see how it slides this is one of my favorite skate parks definitely recommend coming here if you get a chance, especially early in the morning when there's no one there. Awesome transitions, awesome ledges. There's one thing that that needs is round rails. I've got to practice my 540s again. I've lost them, so I think I might try them out of this um, little quarter pipe here. So let's see how I go. Too easy. Easier to pull a pipe, it's off a bank, which I think is a bit more difficult. So, I might try that. The city is back open. So, I'm here today in Chinatown, and we're gonna have a bit of a skate here. There's a bit of a ledge here, and um, it's gonna warm up. So, it's good to be back. Um, I'm allowed here again, so I'm very happy. Let's see what we can do. These ledges were really well waxed. I didn't even have to put any wax on them because they were slippery as. I didn't realise, but the cops were sussing me out. And uh, we go for a bit of a ride down Chinatown for the people who don't really know this area. It's on a bit of a hill, and these restaurants are usually full of people. It was early in the morning, so the people don't usually get here till a bit later, but it was about 10 o'clock. up some good speed down this hill. Nothing epic, but it's, it's uh, nice and feels good cruising down along Chinatown. There's a few ledges along there as well that are waxed up, so some people have been skating around here. Uber Eats are working hard through the pandemic. Well, he's not actually Uber Eats, he looks like he's from another group. And there's lots of artwork and stuff around here. As you can see, the city's starting to open up. There's a lot of people coming in here. So the shops are open, the retail's open. It's back up, Melbourne's back. Now this side of town is empty. Yeah, we got no one. I'm at the um, Spencer Street train station, Southern Cross, and um, yeah, there's not many people here. This is usually bustling, but um, you know, to be expected. No, I mean, this, this side of town is more the business district, so um, yeah, being a Saturday and all, I expect that as well, so.
get out of here then, hey? I'm gonna get arrested. We don't want that. Spoiler alert, I wasn't arrested. Talking about Serenity, Chris Puller. This is Serenity, check it out. I nearly ate shit then. Old mate on the bike. And almost ate shit once again. One of the cool things about Melbourne is um, they sometimes put in things to skate in the middle of the city. I'm not sure if it's done on purpose, but look, they've got ledges. So I assume that's to skate on. So let's take advantage of that and um, yes, please. If you ever wonder how I film this, I mount my um, GoPro on trees and shit. The old trams in Melbourne. <laughs> and the new trams. Well, that's not the newest, there's a new one. But we won't get into trams. This ledge, it's amazing. But fully capped. Apparently it never used to be when it first got put in, but I wasn't around for that, so. The streets are empty. Just showing you this bit here is usually full of people having breakfast, like really packed. So I was a bit surprised how empty that was. Still a few people having breakfast there, but hardly any. It's a pretty famous part of Melbourne if you don't know this area down near Flinders Lane. I'm not sure what this little lane is called, but it's the breakfast lane. And they've got hand sanitizer everywhere now, so if you want some free hand sanitizer, go into the city. Must be a protest on something like that. Lots of cops. Thanks everyone for watching the vlog. See you next time.